What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about if these Scream trailers, the TV spots, if they have spoiled too much. Now, I, I was debating covering this or like making this a, a central topic or not because I think this is a pretty fiery topic online. I think people have very strong opinions one way or another, and I try to pride myself on seeing both sides. So I'm going to try to bring both sides into this video, talk about both of those angles um, in terms of this. But I do have an opinion, and look, if you don't agree, that's totally, totally cool. I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comments. Let me know. Do you think we've seen too much? Do you think it's okay? You know, stuff like that. Let me know. So here's the deal. You know, I think we know who the killers are. Um, I, th I mean, yes, there are definitely like options out there. I believe this video may have gone up after I talked about who I believe the two killers uh, of the movie pretty substantially, like I think based on everything we saw are, but you know, maybe there's a couple more in there. I would say that's like the biggest crime. I'm, I'm going to go to other things the trailer has shown us, but I think when we're judging and we can't, you know, granted, maybe we can't judge it right now. And so maybe this video is pointless, but when the movie comes out, if we got the, the killers, if we nailed them based off of what we saw, I would call that a loss. I call that a failure on the part of not necessarily the directors, right? Because a lot of this stuff, in fact, almost all of it is out of their hands. They give it to a, you know, a separate company that works on trailers and they come up with this stuff. But I just feel like maybe you need to have a little bit of a grasp on them to make sure that a movie that, and you could say, by the way, I'm not saying like Scream is the most important franchise of planet Earth, right? Like it's not, we're not talking about like Avengers Endgame level here or something. But in terms of why these movies work, or why people see them is because we don't know who the killer is going in. If we do, we're not getting that, so I, like the supposed experience we're supposed to get. So that's a big one. And yes, again, like we can't say absolutely for sure that we know who the killers are. But if we if we nailed it, and again, I made the video on it. I guess I won't say it here. But if we nailed it, that's a big issue. The amber on fire thing. That's unless that's a hallucination or a dream or a stab eight for some reason or whatever. That's a pretty, I would imagine, a pretty big thing to have been shown. As I said, some of, in fact, I, let me even correct myself there, not even some, most, most of the close to death scenes we got, as I've said, okay, in past videos, and I said it like very, very early on, do I think they showed the moment? that these characters died in the trailer. No, because clearly they're not dead in the trailer. But, and, and people will always say, and again, this is the opposite side to it, which I definitely want to make sure you know I'm aware of. People will say, well, Alex, you know, they could easily survive it or something could happen. Yes, but remember, it's a Scream movie. Most characters in a Scream movie, most. I, it's like there's three to five survivors per movie, okay? There's not a lot of people that live in these movies. So when you see Vince being thrown to the ground, when you see Chad already injured and then he's running away from ghosts, like, like I'm not saying they're going to necessarily die the next shot, but the chances of them being killed are extremely high. Extre and in fact, if they don't die, I will be shocked, right? For the simple fact of most of these characters are going to die, Okay. Like, everybody maybe likes Liv. I see there's, like, a big thing for her online. That's great. She's got a pretty high shot of dying. You want to know, you want to know why? She's in a Scream movie, okay? That, that's the reason. And so, and, and, and here's the thing. So here's, I guess, where the next thing people would say is, well, Alex, you're saying all this stuff, but what would they really be able to show you in a trailer or in a marketing thing to not spoil it? And it's a very good point, and I want to make sure I talk about it. So I personally think, They've shown too much. I think that first trailer showed way too much. I said that back then. I don't think that's a very that was a very popular opinion. Maybe it's a little bit more popular now, but that was my opinion. For me, I would say the answer to that question would be extremely little marketing, which is odd because everybody always like, you know, d demands that we get like more stuff. I think it's kind of just the world we live in though or what we're used to with movies to get like 13 trailers for them and all of these promotional shots and like Spider-Man, we need to see every single angle of that bridge he's going to fight Doc Ock on. Like if we don't see every single shot of that bridge in a promotional picture, we haven't seen enough and so they need to show us more. So I think we're just in an era of that happening. Now, I talked to some of even you guys in comments, and you guys made good points. You know, back in the day, this didn't necessarily happen. Like, 
even for the Scream movies, there was only like one trailer. Or when you go back to like the 90s or the early 2000s, there were not three, four trailers, all of these TV spots, all these promotional picks. They weren't. They just weren't. So, yes, it's a stretch. And, yes, I'm literally, I guess, asking to go back in time. But I would say, you know, if you're asking, well, Alex, how do you fix this? It's show less. It's show one trailer, maybe two uh, maybe, okay, one trailer and, like, a couple TV spots, and that's it. And the trailer needs to have not been, what, you know, what you did with that first trailer. That's my opinion. I, you know, a couple other things I want to make sure. I'm trying to, like, cover my back because people will say things and, you know, <laughs> things will, will spread online. I'm not saying, like, I hate this movie. I'm not saying, like, all of a sudden, you know, I'm an anti-Scream fan or something. No, I'm very excited for this movie. I, I, I honestly, I, I haven't been this excited for a movie almost ever. This is, like, in the top five uh, maybe 10 of like any film I've ever seen in terms of my excitement going in. Okay. I'm, I'm really, really pumped. I just, I really do believe in my heart of hearts that they sh even um, another example, right? Dewey, the Dewey hospital thing. So if he dies there, yes, they didn't show. Oh, I, I don't want to say like almost any of it because they did show quite a bit. Like he's walking down the hall. He's reloading. He's going to take some shots at Ghostface. Like we know that. We saw that. He's going to get attacked hand-to-hand -hand combat, you know, with the knife. But if he were to die like right there, like don't you think that the trailer shouldn't have put him in the hot? Like you don't show him in the hospital then because it's like you don't want people to know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, yes, it, it is nitpicking. Okay, can we all agree on that? It's definitely nitpicking, but again, for a movie that's so important for the mystery, deaths are important in screams. You don't want to know who's going to die or how they're going to die. And especially even for like the simple fact of because if you know who's going to die, guess what? They can't be Ghostface. And like and again, that goes to the main central, you know, point of these scream movies is you do not want to know who these killers are going in and so when you see amber on fire and you say that's odd you know well, how can an innocent person you know i've talked about amber i really do think is, is is one of the ghost faces i guess i'll leave the other one in suspense but you know other videos i've talked about it as well but i think amber's one right so if she is we nailed it i would even go i mean some people said you know in the scream 4 trailer you can see some very small snippets of jill injuring herself right and that, that kind of final the final house confrontation and that got people think well like why would you injure yourself unless you are the killer i mean i don't know how much they ruin it i would say that's very um that's opinionated that's like subjective right that's up to you like if you if you believe it ruins it for you i think that's valid again like i think if i go into the movie say tomorrow say i got an early screening tomorrow right and i go in and like all of this stuff that we've predicted comes true i, I would feel disappointed i would as I said, though, in past videos, the, and the thing that, yes, you do have to realize or I have to realize is these trailers aren't just for me. They're not just for the Scream diehards, right? There are going to be, and there are, many people who saw that first trailer one time. They didn't think too hard about it. They just said, oh, cool, Sydney, Ghostface, Dewey, get, like, cool, nice, they're back. I'm going to go see it. They didn't think too much about the, oh, did they really just show something? And then they're going to watch the movie. And are they going to be spoiled? No, because they didn't really think too hard about it. They only watched it once. They're not on YouTube every day. I get that. Like, again, like I want to make that known. I understand that. But I honestly feel like you could have it both ways. Like, you could still have an epic first trailer because the scenes I'm talking about are not every scene in the trailer. It's just select scenes in the trailer or in the TV spots. You know what I mean? So it's not all of them. It's just some of them. So I, I do think... You know, again, if the movie comes out and they and we nailed, oh, this is when this person dies. Oh, they are Ghostface. Oh, c cool, we knew that. It's like I I do 100% feel they failed. They show too much. They spoiled it to themselves, and uh, and then I guess ruin. Did they ruin it? That's that's a tough word. I'm not even gonna touch that. At least not yet, uh, because I don't want to make people too upset. But you can, and then you can go into that. And again, that that's more subjective. Does it ruin? the experience for you some people it does some people it doesn't so let me know what you guys think in the comments below hopefully i was fair while also you know telling you guys my personal opinion but again you can let me know how right or wrong i am probably wrong in the comments below make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up if you want to follow me over on twitter or subscribe to my second channel or support us on patreon or youtube memberships links for them all are in the description below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all on the next video